Hello and welcome to uh, a special Easter edition of our tutorials helping you to solve the Rubik's Cube. Um, we originally made 10 of those videos and I think you guys are watching them and enjoying them but because today is a special holiday we thought we would make you a bonus video. Uh, also as a bonus we have invited our cousin Aidan who also knows how to solve the Rubik's Cube and also learned using the same method that we developed so it's great to have him here. Um, here's some extra little things that will help you in your journey of solving the Rubik's Cube. Okay, the first thing we're going to teach you in this uh, um, bonus video is about uh, solving the, the, the white cross. Now remember in video B1 we showed you those uh, trooper siblings who came home wearing their jammies uh, and we needed them to be sitting at the dining table properly. Now um, sometimes, um, see this is Chandler and he goes to competitions and he solves uh, the Rubik's Cube um, in competition. So um, I want to show you a technique that he uses which might help you. Now when Chandler first looks at the cube, he looks around and he looks at the cube and figures out which are good edges and which are bad edges. What he's doing is he's looking for white pieces and a good edge is one that can be put in the right place in only one move. So this one here, the white red, is a good edge because as Chandler is going to show you, it can be put up into the top layer like this. That's it. One move will put it up. But then Chandler will identify some bad edges and especially this one. I think some of you may have trouble with this one because it looks like... Uh, how are you going to fix that? So what you need to do to fix a bad edge is to turn it into a good edge. And one move, usually on the F face, will turn it into a good edge. So Chandler, can you show us how to make that bad edge into a good edge? Like that. Good. And then he's going to spin the U face so that um, when, he, when he puts the, um, that edge up to the top, it'll be in the right place. He does that. Then in one go, it goes up and it turned into the right place. So that blue white is now sitting in the right place. So um, it might help you when you're solving to uh, look around at the edges just like Chandler does and to um, figure out which are good edges and which are bad edges. Okay. The second thing we're going to show you in this video is um, something that I wanted to kind of correct, which was that uh, when we taught you the button three on the magic elevator for the bounty hunters, uh, we actually sang it two different ways. The first time when we was with the band, we sang it like this. So that, uh, that U2 sounded like this. Uh, Shaman, can you play uh, like that again? Right, and then later on in the same video, when we actually played it on, when Shannon played it on piano, she played it like this. Are you two, are you, are you, are? So that one was with the high U2. Now I want you to um, just uh, know that it doesn't matter whether you do a low U2, Shannon can you sing it for me? U2. Which is that way. Or whether you do a... U2. Because because the um, um, cube uh, has uh, four turns, whether you do a U2 clockwise or a U2 counterclockwise, it ends up being the same thing. So just to demonstrate uh, that um, it works either way, we're going to have uh, Aiden here show you how to insert those white corners into the correct place. So what he's going to do right now is he's looking for... Okay, this one is a white, green, red. So he's going to do some U moves to put it in the correct place. There you go. He's put it in the, in the top right, just like we learned how to do. And he's going to do uh, this algorithm. Go, Sean. Are you two? Are you? Are you? Are you? That's right. And show us, Aiden. The, the, that white piece came into the correct place right there, you see? Now, in the case of another piece here, which is a white, green, orange, um, he's going to line that up. And this time he's going to do the one with the, um, the lower uh, U2. Let's uh, try that. Higher U2. Okay. Are you 2 are you, are you, That's right. So it, it doesn't matter whether you do a low U2 or a high U2. They both will do the same thing and put the piece in the correct place. Okay? That's great to know. Okay. Now, here's the third bonus thing we're going to teach you today. 
Now, this one was in the um, episode when we were doing some magic, and that's kind of uh, um, appropriate because when I first uh, taught Sherman and Sherman this, she said, wow, that's like magic. And remember what we did was we taught you that when you do the fru roof, uh, F R U R prime U prime F prime, you move from here to here, then again to here, and again to here to get to the yellow cross. Right now, I'm gonna we're gonna teach you um, an algorithm, um, which is F U R R prime U prime F prime. No, for Earth. For Earth, F U R U prime R prime F prime. Okay, it, it's gonna be written there, so that's fine. Show me, can you um, play that for us, please? It's very easy. For Right, so instead of doing through roof, if you do for off, then what it does is you can skip a stage. So if you add the dot, it'll go to the line. If you add the hook, it'll go to the cross. If you are at the beginning, then you have to do the maybe do the for off once and do the through roof once and you'll get to where you need to go. So that's a really, really cool one that you can use. And actually, Aiden's going to be using it right now because the last thing we're doing right now is a uh, a walkthrough, basically an example solve. What we're going to do is we're going to do an official scramble and then Aiden is going to um, solve the whole cube with a little bit of help from Shaman doing some music and maybe Chandler um, just watching over and seeing if he's doing the right things and that may help you when you watch Aiden do an example solve so let's call it solving time. It is solving time! Okay, so Aiden's gonna do a walkthrough. Now, um, uh, we solved the cube. We started with a solved cube and we scrambled it. Sorry, we didn't solve it. We scrambled, we solved it, and then we scrambled it. We put the green front and the yellow top and we did this scramble, okay? So if you wanna follow along, you can also uh, get a solved cube, scramble it exactly like this, and then you can follow along with what Aiden is doing and hopefully we'll learn something when he's doing this walkthrough solve. Okay, let's get started. What Aiden's gonna do now is to um, turn the cube upside down, so he's got the white there. One white is already solved. Which one is it? Okay, let's put that into position. That's very nice. Okay, now which is the next white edge you're going to do? That one? Okay, what color is that? It's an orange? Orange white. Okay, you can say it out loud, Aiden, that's okay. And uh, how are you going to get it into, into the right place? He moves it away, brings the middle down, and slots it in. Oh, that's the system that he uses. It's a really cool system, one that I taught him pretty early on. Okay. And, is that a good edge or a bad edge? Hmm, you know what, do the red one first. Let's see what happens when you, yeah, that's easy. Put that up, good, red one's done. And we've got one more, which is this one. Okay, how's he gonna do this? Okay, oh, that was a nice move. Wow, I didn't know what he did there, that was really cool. He's made the white cross. So now he's gonna turn the cube upside down. Okay, he's gonna look for some corner white pieces. Uh, what do we have? That one, hmm, now, um, well, maybe we can wait for that one. Let's do one which is a little bit easier. Okay, let's, let's start with that one. Okay, the white, orange, blue. It's in position, and we can do which algorithm, Sean? U, R, U, R, R. Good, so let's see it, um, Aiden, the, the, the white, orange, blue is in the right place. Very good. What's the next, can you find another white one in the top layer? That one, okay. Put that into position, please. Now that one is facing right. Okay, so it's a different algorithm. It's an easy one, actually. Are you are Beautiful, that went in too. Okay, any more? Okay, that one. That one's the one facing front. Okay, let's do that one. You are, you are. Okay, now we have an interesting situation where, this is fun, he has the right piece in the right place in the wrong way. So he's gonna just um, randomly have uh, this piece come down here, which means this is gonna pop back up. So we're gonna use any algorithm. Should, let's do the easiest one. Good, so he popped out. Now he's going to put it back into position, and here's another easy one to bring it back in. Okay, let's do this one. Are you are Beautiful. So he did the bottom layer. Let's have a look at it. The white is looking good. Okay, so now he has some edges to put in. Uh, okay, let's find some edge pieces. Aiden, which one are you going to start with first? He's going to do that one. It's the orange green. Now, does he have to go left or does he have to go right? Left. Is Aiden, has Aiden lost his voice? Right. The um, orange green piece. No. He's going to line up the orange green and he has to go down the left stairs to go to that side. Yeah, the, it's the UL UL one, right? So let's do that one. U L U. No, 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 you, you, you just did a U. Okay, U prime. U L U L U L U L. Beautiful. 
so the orange green is in, nicely shown, thank you. And the next one, which one are you gonna do next? He's gonna do, oh, the red, blue, that's right. That one also has to go down the left steps, I think, right? Okay, let's do that again. U, L, U. No, 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 you just did, you did, you did a U, F, F, can we? Okay, let's bring it back. But let's bring it back into position. Okay, let's go again. U, L, U, L, U, F, U, L. Very nice, we've got two edges in. What one more do we have? Oh, we have that one right there. It has to go to the right side. Let's go. You are, you are, you are, you are. That was very nice. And the last one. Oh, this is the easy one. Good. Another right one. Okay, let's do that. You are, you are, you are, you are. Now look at the bottom two layers. They look so good. Okay, now what does Aiden have? Do you have a dot or a hook or a line or a cross? Hook. A hook. Now, how do you hold a hook? You hold it with, that's right, look at that. The yellow edge piece is on the left and the back. So he holds the hook like that and does, what are you going to do, Aiden? Which one are you going to do? You know, four off? Okay, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. R. Yeah. Earth. And he made the yellow cross. Very nice. Now, He's going to look around and see how many of those yellows he can line up. And amazingly, they're all lined up. So he gets to skip a whole algorithm. <laughs> how beautiful. Now, he's got some corner pieces to focus on. What have we got, Aiden? Do you have any good ones? Oh, he found one which is in the right place. So he's going to hold that one front right. Yes, Aiden? Front right. Yeah, like that. Okay, he's going to do this algorithm. You are you, L. Nope. L. Yeah. You they all rotated. Did they rotate so that they're all correct now? They are. Okay, so let's do some RDs all together now. Go! R D R D R D R D U R D R D R D R D U R D R D R D R D you. Now remember, on this stage, it was beautiful, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, but Aiden was very good. He chose a side, the red side, to keep front, and he didn't change that at all. He only did use, he didn't turn the cube once, and now Aiden has a solved cube. Congratulations, Aiden. Thank you for showing everyone. Have a happy Easter. <laughs>